Hey, I'm Alexandra, home editor at Chatelaine, and what I love to do is make spaces look really beautiful without spending a lot of time or money. Today, we're on the east end of Toronto in this newly converted nursery home to the adorable Felix. Seriously, how cute is he? The room has awesome bones. It's got a fresh coat of paint on the walls and matching furniture, but because Felix has just moved in, it's lacking personality, storage, and organization. I'm here to primp it for less than $500. Whenever you're updating a space on a budget, always look at the walls first because art will instantly refresh a space. I found this adorable British squirrel drinking tea on the online art store Minted, and it's a great start to the woodland theme I'm going to create in this space. For safety, I pulled Felix's crib out a bit from the wall so the piece of art is hanging behind it instead of above it. On this wall, I'm going to create a mini library with open front shelves so Felix can pick the books he wants to read himself. These shelves are from Ikea and they cost me $20 each. They used to look like this, so I painted them with Annie Sloan's chalk paint in the color Paris Grey and sanded them down in areas to give them a rustic finish. I've hung them low to the ground so Felix can reach the books himself when he's a little older. The third one is hung just out of Felix's reach. This decor is for display only. I'm also hanging the set of hooks that I found on Etsy, which was handmade in Calgary. It's super cute and also functions as storage. I've placed it on this blank wall by the door for easy access. Now onto the change table. One of the easiest and most budget-friendly ways to print furniture is to change the knobs. I found these little bear knobs for $19 for seven on Amazon. I'm not changing all the knobs. I love when there are just a few accent knobs on a piece of furniture. I've talked about the genius of baskets before, but I'll say it again. If you can find unique, funky ones, you can completely transform a room. I'm switching out this overstuffed basket that they have on top of the change table for this pom-pom one from Pear Designs. I've also bought the matching hamper, which, though a little pricey, can be used in a variety of other rooms to hold toys or laundry once Felix has outgrown it. I've seen faux animal heads popping up in so many nurseries on Pinterest, so I wanted to find something really different. Enter this adorable bunny wall decor that is going to hang above the change table. I also wanted to add a mobile to the room, but noticed that a lot of them on the market were really expensive. So I DIY'd my own using thread, wool pom-poms, and two pieces of wood from my back garden. I'm gonna hang it above the change table just to be extra cautious. That way, Felix's parents can make sure he can't reach it and pull it down. It also acts as an exciting focal point in the corner of this room. Light is so important in any space, and this awesome pendant light that cost a winning $19 completely transforms the look of this nursery. I love how it looks like a cloud and how the light is really warm. Now for the finishing touches. A cute patterned crib sheet, plants and mason jars that I painted with chalk paint to save money on pots, more art, and if it couldn't get any cuter, I'm creating a reading area for Felix with this mini armchair from HomeSense. Thanks so much for watching The Home Primp. For more budget-friendly updates, click the links below. See you next time.